All right, there, Latin two. So go translate chapter 39. Go. Okay, my turn. Uh, get out your red pen. Here we go. Um, after Marcus finished reading, made an end of reading. I like that even better. Made an end of reading. Gr the grammar teacher, the secondary school teacher said, um, those verses uh, were recited well. Now, tell this to me. How many words are there in the first verse? Five. But how many in the second verse? Eight. What about the word conticuere? And just write it as such because it's in uh, italics. Uh, are you able to tell me? Conticuere is the same as conticuerunt. Uh, poets uh, often write the word this way or thus. And that's actually true when you're using poetry. You can use an infinitive to stand in for a third person plural. It helps with the meter. You responded well, and you, Aulus, tell this to me. Who are everyone? Uh, the Trojans, together with the queen and the guests. Where are all of these? In Africa. In what place? Carthage. From where did, did Aeneas come? Troy. To where uh, does he sail? on a, or I'm sorry, uh, to, to what journey, uh, by what route, sorry, by what route does he sail from Troy? Uh, so, quo itinera is by what route, okay? Um, first, he came to Sicily. Then, uh, he was driven by a storm to Carthage. Now, do you notice that with Sicily, it's an island, and it's a large island, therefore, uh, it gets a preposition, but all the, uh, a lot of the other ones don't, right? Uh, however, uh, you left out, um, or you leave out many things about this story for Aeneas and many, or, and his friends were wandering for many years before they arrived at Sicily. Uh, first, uh, they sailed to Thrace, then to Delos, then to Crete. Why, uh, does... Aeneas never, or why did Aeneas never stay? Uh, Marcus. Uh, he was warned by the gods. Um, having been warned by the gods, Aeneas always was seeking Hesperia, for he was wanting to found a new Troy. All the students uh, were listening attentively to the secondary school teacher, except for Sexus, who was falling asleep or was being sleepy. Um, when the, uh, whom, when the secondary school teacher noticed, um, he shouted Sextus, uh, or I guess when the secondary school teacher noticed him, that would work too. Um, he shouted Sextus, uh, wake up, uh, tell to me, where is Hesperia? Caught him sleeping. Hesperia, isn't it in Greece? No, oh, abominable boy, or terrible boy. Hesperia is Italy. It doesn't matter, muttered Sextus. But it matters greatly, responded uh, the secondary school teacher, moved uh, by great anger. Uh, he took up his cane, and in a terrible voice, he shouted, Hold out your hand, Sextus. The rest of the students fell silent. Uh, I like that we have a repeat of that word, too. Uh, but Sextus did not obey the secondary school teacher, or did not give him obedience. I will not extend, he said. The grammaticus gaped. The silence was long, or there was a long silence. At last, he shouted, Go away, boy. Call the slave tutor, Eucleides. He will take you homeward. I have, su or I suffered enough of your, uh, I don't know, I want to say boldness, I want to say insolence. I suffered your insolence, and, or enough of your insolence. Uh, I forbid you to return here unless you are wanting to work. Now go away. He got suspended from class. 
Um, the rest of the, uh, the, the remaining students, uh, had been terrified, uh, by the words of the secondary school teacher, uh, never before had a boy been sent homeward. So there you go. Go ahead and do, uh, 39A, um, answer in the tense that you were given. Uh, make sure if it asks you questions that give you, that prompts the locative that you answer in the locative. All right. I'm gonna hit the button.